In the cover of CardioSource World News Interventions, we talk about 50 shades of gray, as in radiation, as in safety. And so we wanted to talk about a paper that's coming up in Jack Interventions. It's radiation dose reduction in the cardiac catheterization laboratory utilizing a novel protocol. So I am with Dr. Amir Ravandi, who is Assistant Professor of Cardiology and Physiology and a Principal Investigator at the Institute of Cardiovascular Sciences, St. Boniface Hospital in Winnipeg. Thank you very much. And let's talk a little bit about this protocol. What is it? First, you better define that, I guess, for us. Well, we had an opportunity when we uh, sort of upgraded our labs to uh, Philips had its new protocol and ecosystem, uh, which is basically a combination of by adjusting the patient's uh, weight, the collimation of the radiation, and some background software imaging uh, improvements that allows lesser radiation dose to getting better image quality. So allows us to have uh, significant improvements in radiation reduction, but not losing the uh, image quality. So in terms of what you found in this paper, what, what did you look at specifically, how many patients, et cetera? So uh, we looked at the uh, two months prior to and two months after the initiation of this ecosystem. Uh, so it comprised about 300 patients before and 300 patients afterwards. These include patients who went under coronary angiography and also coronary interventions. And we found that overall there was a 50% reduction uh, with a regression analysis by including everything that we would think of. Just based on the ecosystem, there was a, a close to 50% reduction in radiation per now, procedure. Before you, you use this protocol, you're doing things correctly and as you're supposed to yes. anyway. So in other words, this is like on top of what is considered optimal in the laboratory. Exactly. So we actually looked at the throughput of the lab as well, uh, PCIs per patient, uh, outcomes, very equal. So given the fact that we used uh, close to 50% reduction in uh, radiation, we had the same outcomes, same, same throughput through the lab, so pretty equal in terms of outcomes. So it was very interesting. How difficult was it to do? How much extra time? Very little from our end as the uh, operator. Uh, the people who installed the system pretty much had the job of doing it. We are, had a one new lab that had completely re, uh, revamped the whole system, but the other two labs that still had Philips system was only a, almost like a software upgrade with some minimal instrumentation change. So, uh, and the, those are the labs that we used actually for the study to keep uh, consistency throughout. So for the busy interventionists, all they're actually doing is plugging in some extra numbers? We're not actually doing nothing. Uh, the, really? <laughs> it's even easier. The, the people on the back end of the thing install the software and you go about your day as you work, uh, do your procedures, and the end result is that you end up with not only less radiation for your patient, but also for the operator, which is uh, always a good uh, outcome. Yeah, because the cover story in CardioSource World News Interventions is, is more on the, the staff, because these right. are the folks who have long-term exposure. Absolutely. and. That's a tremendous, I mean, we're always looking at the patient, but in this case, we thought we'd look at the, uh, the staff because that's, a, that's an important issue. Absolutely. Even though we looked at air karma, which is uh, the amount of radiation used, we know that's a direct correlate to the amount of radiation that the staff and the operators are uh, exposed to as well. So overall, less radiation, both for the staff and for the patients based on this uh, Philips ecosystem. So what was your take home message at the end of the paper? The take home message is that we're always striving to lessen radiation. This is one tool in the armament of everything that we have that allows us to lessen the radiation dose just by improving the software that uh, it generates the image. So that's, that's a big improvement. Well, please take a look at this uh, paper in Jack Interventions. There is a real interesting protocol, and I think you'll enjoy the, the paper. From CardioSource World News, I'm Executive Editor Rick McGuire.